I need a coffee. Benji, please get me a coffee. I need coffee, soft man. Black, no sugar. I'm already sweet. My people, my people, my people. Safety is what it's all about in 2019. Street safety goes way beyond looking both ways before crossing the road. Now, there have been so many negative things happening on our roads where our students are concerned. And my people, my young people, right, yes, so, are part of a larger group promoting safety amongst their peers. Now, we have our deputy head girl, Mayosha Williams <laughs> of Convent of Mercy Academy Alpha, and head boy, Akello Morgan of St. George's College, and Chad Rattree, who is a head boy of Kingston College. Good morning to you three. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Good. We're good. good yeah? It's a pre pretty early, but we're good. <laughs> what time do you normally wake up for school? Six. Five o'clock. So it's, it's about the right time. You're, you're used to this. Say you're used to it. Did you have breakfast? No, not yet. We need you to be alert, so I'm going to see what I can get for you oh, before fantastic. you get to school yeah. this month. <laughs> I lie. I mean, I have no breakfast this morning. <laughs> Let's get to the meat of the matter. There are some serious things happening to our young people. It's alarming. Tell me first the situation in Jamaica, in Kingston Central, for young people going to and from school. Well, it is very um, hard for us. As students, personally myself, mm -hmm. who have to traverse in the downtown area, it's very hard for us. We feel very unsafe, uncomfortable, especially in those large spaces. We don't know who to trust. Why? What happens? What happens? What are some of the What are some of the um, stories that you've heard, or some of the experiences that you've had? Robberies. Personally, I have almost been robbed mm -hmm. in the downtown area. Mm -hmm. And uh, it is not a very good feeling. We feel uncomfortable to hold our own possessions, mm -hmm. our mm -hmm. phones. Mm -hmm. If we need to call our parents, we can't do that because we're afraid that we may become victims mm -hmm. to these perpetrators. Mm -hmm. And for you? Well, personally, I have been held up once, and it was a very scary experience. Mm -hmm. um, I have friends who have been held up. And mm -hmm. it, again, it's been a very scary experience. Mm -hmm. So what we're trying to do is trying to promote safety in the streets. Mm -hmm. and we are the future. I yes. know that's very cliche, but no, we no, are. No, no, you're the present and the future, but you're <laughs> right, you are. Yeah, so we are the future mm -hmm. and we need to protect the future. And yes. if we're trying to educate the future, we need to educate them in an environment, in an environment that they are able to learn, not where, one where they're fearing yeah. for their possessions or their life. I, I, I hear that. And you've lost some of your fellow students to violence, yes, eh? Yes. Yeah. And what about you, Chad? Well, um, I was robbed last year of my phone and other um, accessories. Um, so I know from personal experience the issue. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And student is almost every week a student is robbed. As mm -hmm. a matter of fact. Um, every week? Every week. A student and from your school? My or you school? mean from, any, uh, from the... So you can call it my school. Yeah. Right? <laughs> yeah. Um, and other schools, I'm sure, we have the have same, the experience. same experience. And also... At the start of the school year, a student was literally um, stabbed on the North Street stretch, the corridor. For a phone? Yeah, for a phone. Now, we have to look at what, the, what they're targeting, and we have to ask ourselves, why? And I know you're, you're, you're probing and you're looking, because the root cause, you know, we have to look at that. Then we have to look at how do we deal with it? Is it police? Is it a shift in mindset? And I know that you have all been exploring and looking at ways to keep your, your peers and yourselves safe. So tell me about the Safety on the Streets initiative, what the plan is. Okay. Um, Anyone can answer. <laughs> um, we decided among nine schools mm -hmm. to form an organization known as the Student Safety on the Streets Initiative, SOS. Mm -hmm. And why? Because we recognize the severity of the, the situation and the issue mm -hmm. itself. And we wanted to form an uh, organization that is youth-led as well, student-led, yes. yeah. right? Because that's very important to us. Mm -hmm. um, so we are um, promoting essentially peace on the streets and mm -hmm. that is a, a very important plan we plan to do as a matter of fact a peace march next no not next month February that's march 8th, march, oh, march march 29th march 29th mm -hmm. um that will have us starting as a ceremony mm -hmm. at the national heroes um, mm -hmm. park mm -hmm. and then we're going to be going to the different communities um and different street corridors to mm -hmm. promote um peace among the different um stakeholders no I'm an action type of girl, yeah? Mm -hmm. And I really believe in strategy and, and seeing the outcome. So obviously there needs to be a plan. Do you have yeah. any numbers? How many, how many children have been affected, youth, mm -hmm. by violence? 
And what, what's the outcome after this march? And I want to go into more of your strategy because, of course, you were working with the police force mm -hmm. and other stakeholders. But I need to be clear, after this, we march. And marching used to work yes. back in the day. <laughs> when we marched for freedom and <laughs> you marched down on people. And, and there, there was change. Yes. Who are we marching and speaking to? What's the strategy? Because I'm, I, we need to deal with this, well, and it's urgent. Well, well, I'm well. glad you mentioned that, because last year at the launch, on uh, November 26th at St. George's College, mm -hmm. at the launch, we saw an, an increase in patrolling from okay. Hawkeye that was actually contracted by the Ministry of Education, Youth and Information. Mm -hmm. And my principal personally mm -hmm. has reported to me that there were three reported robberies per week. Mm -hmm. Now there are none per week because of the um, patrolling. So obviously there have been significant progress. Mm -hmm. Now we want more progress. Mm -hmm. So we are working again with all the stakeholders, the ministry, the police, mm -hmm. private, uh, private sector. Mm -hmm. We're very glad for their support. Mm -hmm. um, but we're not stopping here. We're hoping to reach community members mm -hmm. um, because they are p really, that, that's where we really are traveling, mm -hmm. are yeah. traversing. Yeah. And, uh, we, they, are, they have the ability to protect us, and we're hoping that they can protect us. Everybody has a role to play. Mm -hmm. uh, great stats there, sir. Yeah. <laughs> wow. And you know Three that the, to the nothing yes. since yeah. the, the heavy patrolling. Yes, yes. Lovely. Miss Williams, <laughs> speak up, talk up you. Yes, um, the community. I really believe that in order to get through to the, um, overcoming this issue mm -hmm. is uh, firstly going to, into the communities. That's why we're doing the peace march mm -hmm. because we believe that School is our home. Yes. We spend most of our time there. Yeah. It's a home away from home. Mm -hmm. And we need to feel safe in that community. Yeah. So we want to target the communities in which the schools are based mm -hmm. because we think that if they see something happen to us, they must can say, stop. And, and targeting help us. the communities where the perpetrators live. live. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. And what message are you sending to them? I know peace, it's a big, broad, big word. But, <laughs> but be specific. What are you saying to them? We're saying, let us create a safe space for our students, allow them to learn, allow yes. them to go to school, yes. allow them but to the be man, on the streets. The man now talk about the, oh, come here, man. The man in my talk about fully dance, hot skull. <laughs> You're speaking to hot skull and fully dance for some of them, I'm just saying. Who really don't have any respect for people's property, for, you know, people's rights. Violation is like a part of their DNA to violate. How do we get into their heads to change their mindset? Saying it is just, as you know, we see it on the headlines, we, we hear it on the television, we need peace. But how do we get into their minds? They're born perpetrators. I mean, when mm -hmm. I say born that way, it's a part of their DNA. That they, 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 they're hot skulls. They're fully dunks. <laughs> so I'm, no, I'm serious. I mean, you, yeah, are, yeah. you are a different set of young people. Right, mm -hmm. but there are another set out there, and most of the perpetrators we we've seen is usually young people. So I'm asking you to consider even now as we close, each one to kind of leave with a very important message targeting those who are targeting you. Anyone Sorry. can start. Give them the message. Don't be afraid. <laughs> you gotta fight for something. Yeah, <laughs> much. Here's your chance, brother. What would you like to say, head boy? So I guess what we really have to say to the community members is that. Please just leave us alone. Just mm. protect us. While we're traversing to and from the mm -hmm. town and school, mm -hmm. we would just like to be safe. We like to feel safe. We like to feel that we're loved. We like to feel that, there were, that we're valued. Mm -hmm. This environment and this, um, frankly, this culture of, you know, I just saw it go, so I don't have to about it, mm -hmm. really has led us to this point. Mm -hmm. And we have to ask ourselves, when is, when is enough enough? Mm -hmm. And I'm very, very glad that all student leaders have been able to come together and form an initiative mm -hmm. and really put our, our, our feet down mm -hmm. and say that we are ready and we mm -hmm. are able to stand together in solidarity yeah. and earnestness and that we can you know, effectively march for something that we believe in and believe that will ultimately um, benefit us in the end. I hope so and I hope the stats will keep on. Yeah. Yeah, just be, before we leave though, yes, sir. Um, after the peace march, we're planning on something very ambitious. We're mm -hmm. going to be having a stakeholders meeting mm -hmm. with all security officials. We're going to be having the Minister of National Security, mm -hmm. um, opposition, pers personnel. Um, we're going to be having the 
Ministry of Education on board as well. Mm -hmm. And what we're going to be doing is just have a stakeholders meeting, have a sit down and talk about the real, you know, solution moving forward. Yeah. A long-term plan, strategy. Yeah. yeah. And prevention. Um, so prevention know? as well, yeah. Because if you, if you look at the younger ones coming up, and I, I'm so glad that you are the leaders listening to mm -hmm. you, you really can bring change. But before the next perpetrator becomes 13, remember mm -hmm. you have to you reach them there. And I'm glad you're meeting with stakeholders. Mm -hmm. And while cabinet is meeting now about the new budget, <laughs> well, you guys need to get in now and say, <laughs> what you want them to spend the money on yes. so that you can feel safe in that's, that area and across the island. True. Final word from you, Queen. Okay, so um, I would just like to tell them that it, it needs to stop. You know, being a student, it takes a lot from us we, to go to school. We just want to learn, come out to be the best, to help them to improve our quality of life, our standard of living, mm -hmm. and to better this nation. Yeah. So they just need to stop and allow us to build the nation and make Jamaica be the place to live, work, raise families, and do business. <laughs> do and business. I say, and die. You want to die? <laughs> we are going to die. Yes. We are going to die. But so we have work to do. Thank you yes. so much. I, I I'm grateful that you are part of this nation and our future, and I really hope that the Safety on Streets initiative will bring change, right? Yes. And we'll have more, uh, we'll have happier statistics yes. where we can say there's yes. no violence in Jamaica and our youth are protected. Uh, Akello Morgan, raise your hand, youth. Yeah. <laughs> Chad Rattray, clap him. La, 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 la. Myosha <laughs> Williams. Okay, my people, you see it right there. Deputy head girl and our head boys right here leading the change. And to all the criminals out there, those violating our young people, we beg you to just stop it. All right? After the break, we explore parenting goals. This is Smile Jamaica, your daily dose of awesomeness with Soul Comp.